Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Time flies and I want to do empties every month. So today I have pretty much all skincare and only two makeup items, which one of them might even be considered skincare because it's Fit Glow. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start with the Kosas deodorant. This is the Kosas Sport AHA serum deodorant and it does have AHA in it, which is a chemical exfoliant. And I have the scent Chemistry. It's a rollerball, it's clear, and it doesn't leave any kind of mess on my clothes or underarms. I didn't really care for the scent Chemistry, but it totally doesn't matter because you don't smell it right after you apply it. Like it disappears so quickly. At first, I didn't like this and then it became a favorite for a while. And then by the end, I was like, well, there's still some left in there. I was like, yeah, I'm done. It wasn't sticky or slippery or anything uncomfortable. It's just that I found I had to reapply it more than once during the day. And I just don't always have time for that and don't wanna do that. I don't wanna smell myself. If you can smell yourself, you're smelling pretty bad. I don't know if there's life like a lifetime to this and I surpassed it and that's why it sort of stopped working. I really don't know. But like I said, I didn't like it, I did like it, and then I didn't like it. There was an arc to this. So, you know, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think if you've tried it. Currently I'm using the Taos Air Energizing deodorant. It's the Indy Lee one and I'm really enjoying that one. That one does have a little bit of baking soda I found out and this one's completely baking soda free and um, they're totally different. So no, sorry, I like to say yes or no whether or not I'm gonna repurchase, not right now. Maybe, it, no, I don't see me repurchasing this. I have the St. Jane Luxury Body Serum and this thing is so tiny, 0.5 or 0.68 fluid ounces. It's 20 milliliters, it's got 33 milligrams of CBD. All of St. Jane's products have CBD in them, so if you're someone who responds well to CBD, you might love this. I am not that person. I have a couple of St. Jane Beauty things here, and I don't know why I bought them. I took a class with the founder, and she was beautiful and really got me excited about her products, and I bought a bunch of them. That's really all I can say. I don't even like a body oil. I can't speak to whether or not this is a good body oil or not. It's quite expensive. It's heavy, and it is a pump top. I think this is glass. It has a citrus scent, but then under that I could smell the CBD. I'm very sensitive to scents. The scent, the citrus part did not bother me, didn't irritate my nose, my skin, anything, but I don't like the way CBD smells. And there's no marijuana in this, no THC, but it has that scent that I can smell. And so no, I didn't like it. I don't like body oils though, so I'm sorry. This is the Drunk Elephant Silly, I believe it says, S-I-L-I, -I, body lotion. This is a travel size and it's fine. Um, I've heard it described as joyless or a lot of the Drunk Elephant products described as joyless and that is just what it is. It actually is a nice product. You know, you can pour it out but it's not watery thin. It's not thick or hard to spread around. It sinks in quickly. It does moisturize. And the scent, I actually like. It's unscented, but to me smells like almond oil, which is probably, I guess, what marula oil smells like because all these products, I believe, have marula oil in them. But I wasn't excited to use it. And I feel like certain products, that's okay. Maybe a retinol serum or something where you're doing it for a certain benefit. But when it comes to a body lotion or a bath oil or a, a body oil, I wanna feel excited about it. I either wanna enjoy the texture or the scent or it just this amazing result or something and I get none of that with this. It's just a nice product that does what it says it's gonna do and it doesn't irritate me. I even would feel comfortable using this on my face so if I were gonna travel, I would be glad to have it and take it with me because I could just use it everywhere, feel comfortable and know that I'm gonna have moisture, you know, I'm gonna be moisturized. On the one hand, why am I giving it a no that I wouldn't repurchase. Well, you know what? I'm not giving it a no. Because I said I would be glad to take it with me traveling. Like, I could see getting it to 
to travel with. But otherwise, I just, I would purchase something else that's just more fun to use. This wouldn't be a winter's empty if I didn't have a 100% pure hand cream. This is the Coconut Hand Butter Cream. I love it. I've loved it for years. I have will repurchase. I have repurchased. I actually just put some of this from a new tube um, on my hands a few minutes ago. It's a beautiful texture. It's easy to spread. It sinks in. There's no greasiness left. They're beautiful scents. They come in multiple scents. And this is a definite yes for me. I have another product from 100% Pure. This is the Cucumber Cloud Foam Cleanser. It's supposed to be a calming cleanser, and I was looking to see what else it said. Natural, vegan, PETA certified. It is a foaming cleanser, was completely clear. I thought it would have like a beautiful cucumber scent. Cucumber is up there. It's definitely tied for first place for my favorite scent, if it isn't my favorite scent. But since it's natural, it was a dull cucumber scent. And again, just nothing that made me feel good. And since my skin, even though it's dry, it's and sensitive, it's pretty easy to care for in the sense that if I don't use something stripping or overly harsh on it, it's not oily, it doesn't tend to break out or get you know huge dry spots or anything. And so I could easily find another cleanser. The foam looked really nice when it came out, but then you'd go to mush it and it just all collapsed. Like there was no body to it. So it didn't feel fun. I, I think all this stuff should be fun if you're not getting that from my previous reviews. Um, it just wasn't particularly fun to use, then it didn't have the great scent, and then the results were fine. I used it in the shower or as a second cleanse, and it never was harsh or uncomfortable or anything like that, but I just don't see spending a lot of money on a cleanser or you know paying for shipping on a cleanser that's fine. And so no, I definitely will not be repurchasing this one. You guys, it's not all negative. This, I loved. Peppermint Lava Salt by Moon Rivers Natural. It's a hand and body nutrient rich body cleanser. I'm not familiar with Moon Rivers Naturals, but I did get this travel size and it has charcoal in it. You can probably see that. It is pepperminty fresh, but in a good wake you up kind of way. Um, a little cooling on the skin, but not too much. It foamed really nicely, lathered really whether I use my hands or put it on some kind of body sponge thing. And this was this was fun to use and it did what it's supposed to do. It cleansed, it made my shower smell nice and it was just a great experience. So I do recommend this one, especially designed for those deathly afraid of a used bar of soap with or without the curlies. Ugh. <laughs> Nutrient-rich oils saponified and blended with the vital minerals of lava salt, the detoxifying power of activated charcoal, and the bright energizing infusion of peppermint essential oil combine for the perfect full body cleanse. Vegan, cruelty-free, non-GMO. I mean, I wouldn't use it on my face. I'd be afraid to get it in my eyes mostly, but I loved this. I would recommend it. and. I mostly use bars of soap, but if I do get a body wash, I could really see getting this one. Uh, now let's move on to face. This is the Josh Rosebrook Daily Acid Toner Brightening Facial Toner. It's just what it says. It's a chemical exfoliant. You, It's supposed to be gentle enough to be used every day, even twice a day, even by sensitive skin. This is a glass bottle. It's a screw on top, and it's just one of those that you pour on a cotton round and swipe wherever you want it. I guess you could put it in your hand and pat it in, but I did the cotton round thing. It's funny, to me this smelled like apple cider vinegar when I would just smell it, but if I shook it up, which I did once I realized this, it kind of smelled like honey. Now it has no honey in it, I believe it's vegan, but it smelled like honey to me. So anyway, it was like a pale, like a light brown liquid, water in texture, like watery texture, just like water. And it didn't burn or sting or do anything, but it's effective. I found I could use it once a day, every other day, or my skin got too sensitive. And it was really to the point that I was just using it in spots. If I had a blemish or just once a week all over my face and neck and chest, very effective. I might get it again, but I've 
become more and more insensitive over time and I also like to use a face mask every now and then and I've got some masks I need to work through that are exfoliating and I can't use them and a product like that or my face my skin will just dry out and just freak out and I don't want to go back there I've done that before I'll link the video below and how I dried my skin out or used too many products to make my skin sensitive or something like that um, but that that is a great product and I would recommend it I also used up this I'm from mugwort mask I believe this is a travel size mugwort I think is good for redness and for acne and this is like a clear gel with brown little brown bits in it so it actually looks like a light brown gel um, it has like little bits of mugwort in it so when you put it on it's not at all abrasive but you end up with little flecks of mugwort all over your face it does dry down leave it on for like five maybe ten minutes and then wash it off my skin did fine with it but I can tell you it's not a moisturizing mask and I thought I don't know what I thought I don't think I need this mask and so it didn't do anything harmful or bad and maybe it helped and I don't know this mask just wasn't for me and it smells really earthy which makes sense because it has the mugwort in it sorry if the screen looks different or i'm in a different spot i had to take a phone call my dad had pneumonia gosh i think it's only been a year ago now at the same time of year i think and he it was so bad he had to have part of his lung removed well he has pneumonia again i think we caught it early this time anyway so i had to go take that phone call i think i was at face oils so like I mentioned I got sucked into some of the St. Jane stuff and these are actually little trial travel size minis they're so cute I love anything little <laughs> not anything and they're just so you know the black and the white and the packaging with the gold they really are beautifully done they're droppers and these droppers actually worked really well after it wouldn't dispense anymore i tried to pour some into my hand and both products were completely gone that's rare i feel like with these kinds of things anyway this one i have a full size so you'll hear about it again and this is the c drops and it has maybe 83 milligrams of cbd it also has like citrus oil or citrus extract. Second or third interruption, my husband's changing out light fixtures at our house. Anyway, okay, CBD, uh, vitamin C, a nice texture, not too slippery or slick, sinks in nicely, citrus scent. I did not smell the CBD. I would not repurchase because one, as I mentioned, CBD doesn't seem to do anything for me or I don't respond I don't notice a difference I've tried lots of CBD products nothing essential oils and citrus on my face can be really sensitizing I can't even believe I bought this product much less you know have this little mini so you'll hear more about that one again then I have the st. Jane luxury beauty serum again with 83 milligrams of CBD nice serum not slippery like you're not gonna guasa with it um it, it's fine i like other ones better again cbd doesn't do anything for me i don't think i smell the cbd in this one either this one has a much nicer scent it's i can smell a hint of the cbd but i like this scent much better it's not citrus the oil's nice but i would much rather go with like true botanicals or um there's another one the uh like broccoli carrot there was one that i loved i don't know anyway not going to repurchase just not a fan there are other beautiful oils and a lot of what you're paying for is the cbd and that's just not a benefit to me so it's not worth it for me this is the indie lee restore eye cream it's to firm and smooth it's a gigantic container for an eye cream and it is a pump let's see if any comes out yeah i i guess i should do it this way i really can't get any more out and i've taken oh and the thing came off which explains why I can't get any more out. It broke. It actually snapped off in there. I don't know how that happened. So I need to get like my little spatula and spoon stuff out. But I've had this a long time and it's good for about six months. I love Indie Lee. Um, I have very, very dry, sensitive under eyes, especially in here. 
and this does have some actives in it. I don't remember exactly what they are. It's also supposed to be moisturizing. The first time I used this, my skin was really sensitized and the actives in this just irritated my under eyes, so I stopped using it. Then things have been better with my skin, so I picked it up again and started using it. I haven't had any problems until this thing broke and I think it's well, I know it's old, so I felt like that was a sign for me to declutter it, maybe use it on the back of my hands or something, but definitely not on my eyes or around my eyes. I enjoy this. The only thing is, like I said, it's a huge amount, and then the pump is hard to dispense only a little bit, so I always ended up with far more than I needed under my eyes. And I, even if I put it on thick, I ended up with far more. So I would put it up here and around my eyebrows, and then I would even put a little on my upper lip. Uh, but it was nice, and I it's unscented, but I could smell it, and I love the way it smells. I love everything in Delete. Uh, so I don't know about the firming and smoothing. I feel like I'm giving you a lot of, this didn't work for me, or I don't know. I'm sorry. I guess put your comments below about these things if you have anything. But these are my honest reviews. You know, I do these. Well, I have my whole channel just because I love skincare. I love makeup. It's fun and it's just fun for me to share all the information. I try something different all the time and so you're always getting my honest thoughts, feelings, experiences and this is what it is. So this is the Fit Glow Beauty Night Serum. It's a lip serum. It is cushiony and moisturizing and hydrating and beautiful and wonderful and I love it and I bought like a six pack that I have waiting at home. It is glass. I dropped it and chipped it. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, no, I can't get that. It does have a bit of a vanilla scent. They, These things are worth it. It has ceramides, really cushiony, comfortable, not sticky. I love them. It's been a favorite for a while. I'll link my favorites video. This is sort of a weird one. This is the Brilliant Black Toothpaste by Terra and Company. It's with activated charcoal. It's whitening, vegan, and the scent was mint. I don't know. This, I think, might have been working. I was afraid to use it too often. I have sensitive gums, sensitive teeth, and I was afraid that it was too abrasive and just going to ruin my teeth. There are different schools of thought on activated charcoal and dental products. I like the idea and I've seen some really great results for other people so I was excited to use it. At the same time I was scared. I didn't have any bad experiences with it except it is black. So if you got on your face, if you got on your shirt, if it's splattered like I use an electric toothbrush, if it's splattered on the wall, it's black. It was black in the sink. So that was just different, kind of annoying, and you know, you definitely want to clean up afterwards. The experience was fine. I didn't find it abrasive. I'm just scared, so I'm not repurchasing it. I did get, oh my gosh, I haven't gone in and told you what I've replaced all this stuff with. Eye cream. I'm currently using, I believe it's the First Aid Beauty 360 degree peptide eye cream. It's much like this one in the sense that I had started it. My skin was too reactive, so I put it away. I'm back to it. I'll tell you more about that later. The lip serum, I, like I said, bought six backups, um, but I am currently trying to get through just some other lip products I have, not one in particular, uh, so I'm holding off opening the other ones, just a myriad of different products. These two, I'm still using actually the full size of both of them. I have the full size of both of them, even though I don't love either and they're very expensive. So I'm gonna use those up. My um, body wash, sorry, that clinged against my coffee. My body wash that I loved, I'm just using a bar soap. Uh, I actually have the container somewhere. It's a brand that I'm not familiar with and fine. Mask, I'm not, I don't have anything like the mugwort mask that I've replaced that with. And the toner, I told you I just have some exfoliating masks. Specifically, I have the Tata Harper that I want to start using. I haven't started using anything to replace that yet. Cleansers, I am using Pi Skin Care Cream Cleanser that I'm using to replace that 100% pure uh, cleanser. And it's very different from this cleanser. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I think I got everything. Toothpaste, this is what I was gonna tell you. I got, I believe it's called Vardis, V V 
A-R-D-I-S, and it's this whole whitening system for sensitive teeth. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that. I did take pictures of my teeth when I before I started using it, and oh, is that a scary photo of up close of my teeth. Um, but I can give you a rundown on that. It's a Swiss company, environmentally friendly and that kind of thing, as well as the products are, they have a toothpaste, a toothbrush, a mouthwash, and a whitening serum. And I can tell you more about that if you want. Just let me know if you'd like to see a video on that. When it's Fit Glow, it's their brow pomade for lack of, I don't, because I can't think of the real name. I love this. I got the clear, so it does look kind of white. I like the little, bristles, the little brush at the end, the short handle was real easy to control. It held my brows nicely without being hairsprayish. I feel like it did add some volume. I think it had some plant protein fibers that helped plump them some. You know, all of Fit Glow's products have some skincare benefits, so I don't remember exactly what they, the benefits of this are, but I think it's to nourish your brow hairs and help them grow or fill in. I love that. I'd like to get some other shades or a, a, a tinted one and see if it's the same formula and if I like that as well. So yes, I would absolutely repurchase that. I have Evio Beauty's mascara. I'll look to see if I included this in a video before. Here's the wand. And the reason I'll do that is because I did not like this at all and I cannot recall specifically why other than I didn't like the way it looked. I don't like the wand. I don't like curved wands. For me, I end up, they're messy for me. I just don't have the same comfort level using a wand like that or coordination or something. They end up, the mascara ends up on my lids. I, for me, feel that this did not wear well, if I'm remembering correctly, but I spoke with my sister earlier today who's using it as well. She said it wears just fine. It's just doesn't look like much. Like it doesn't lengthen, it doesn't volumize and it's just kind of pointless. I'm not even sure this is bad. I think I just was like, I'm over it and put it in my empties because I'm not gonna wear it. Oh, as far as mascara, what I'm using now <laughs> is the RMS Straight Up Volumizing uh, Mascara. Love, love, love it. I've mentioned it in a couple videos. And for brows, I'm currently using the Kosas Air Brow in Clear. And I like it better, I think, than I liked the tinted version. So that's interesting to me. Sorry, one last thing. It's more of a skincare thing. This is the CO Chest Lift. It is a reusable wrinkle smoothing patch. And it's shaped like this. It's silicone, it's clear. It's not actually on here, but this is a resealable pouch. And it's stuck to here. You take it off and you put it on like here and part of it hanging down here to keep those deep wrinkles from forming right here. I'm a side sleeper, and so at night sleeping on my side, everything crunches together, and I notice I'm getting some vertical lines, and I'm not pleased about that. I'm not gonna do much about it, but this is an easy thing to use. If you do it long enough, often enough, I do believe it would make a difference. I just can't wear it because it, I feel claustrophobic with it on. There's no reason for you to feel claustrophobic with it on. Um, there's no reason for me to feel that way, but I do. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and just claw it off. And that's why I don't have it to show you is because I tore it off and balled it up and threw it on the floor and it got like covered in, you know, dog hair and whatnot. So it's gone, it is reusable. I'm not sure how many times, but like quite a few times. They also have them for like the brows and foreheads and other places. Maybe I'll try one of those. I just don't know that I can sleep with it on and I'm not gonna wear it during the day. But it's a really cool idea. You know, like I said, I link everything down below. I think you should look into it if you're at all interested. I wish I could use it. I just can't. That officially is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've used any of these products. If you agree with what I had to say or disagree, I'd love to know what your experience was. And as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.